there. Welcome to another healthy conversation. So last episode, we talked about alarm adaptation exhaustion. Um, talked about some of the symptoms of alarm, like pain. Um, today, what we wanted to share with you, and this is pretty amazing, is that there are things you can put into your body that will cause pain. There are things you can put into your body that will eliminate pain. No matter where you're at is what we've been told. Simple things too. Simple things. So what we're going to talk about, what John's going to talk about, <laughs> is omega-3s and omega-6s. And the way that you can eliminate all pain and inflammation is to get your 3s and your 6s right here in balance. They don't even have to be perfect. Just right here in balance. Now unfortunately, we most of us have lots and lots of sixes and that's why we've got pain and inflammation because we don't have balance or could be some other symptoms as well. But but let's talk about the the really easy sixes to just flat out eliminate, right? Well, we were in a very uh, in-depth class yesterday from a doctor that was giving us all types of foods that had high omega-6 and low omega-3s and so forth and the thing we have to really kind of get down to is the simplicity of what we're talking about. Anytime you have a trans fat or a hydrogenated fat, all these man processed fats. We, which, which are sixes. Which are sixes. Yeah, but we bought into the fact that all saturated fats are bad for us, which they're not. It's the hydrogenated fats, it's the trans fats, so those are the man modified fats that become very inflammatory type of fats, very irritating type of fats, and those are the ones that kind of cause artery sludge. That's what cause our arteries to block up. So we know we want to stay away from a lot of those. So let's give examples of those. Well, anything you're going to you're going to get pretty much in uh, a bakery product or a deep fried product or anything like that. Anything that's deep fried usually has a lot of omega six, a lot of trans fats, a lot of hydrogenated fats. But even when you get into the good fats, that's when it even gets more complicated because those are categorized as omega-3, 6, and 9. Now the omega-3s and the omega-6s are what we call EFAs, essential fatty acids. Those are the fats that really have to be balanced. If we have enough 3 and 6, our bodies will make the 9s, the monounsaturated fats, from kind of you get from avocados and, and uh, 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 what's the other one, uh, olive oil. Now, so omega-3s. Omega-3s do basically four different things in your body and we get those from fish oil, uh, mostly from fish oil, flax oil, nuts and seeds. They keep the myelin sheathing around our nerve endings, they lower cholesterol, they balance hormones out, and they're strong anti-inflammatories. Keywords are anti-inflammatories. So let's go over, what do they do again? What are those for again? They, they keep the myelin sheathing around our nerve endings. And what does that do for us? So, you know, we're hearing about all the Alzheimer's, all the, all the ALS. I mean, that's where the, the nerve endings, kind of the sheathing around the nerve endings. Omega-3s kind of help with that. Help with that. What's another one? They lower cholesterol. Oh, well, we all know about that. Don't even need to talk they about that. They balance hormones out. Oh, I've heard Maybe about people hormones who have you know, hormone <laughs> issues. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it, but they're strong anti-inflammatories. Which is pain. Which is pain. So these are four incredible things that threes will do. But here's the thing. Most of us eat a lot high six. A lot like of six. like to the way to the top of the roof we eat high six. And even if we don't eat fast food, deep fried, baked goods, desserts, which that's what a lot of us eat, so our sixes are through the roof, we're eating meat. Lots of meats that we're eating. I mean the only real one that we're really getting a huge balance of, of good omega threes are wild caught salmon. I know you love sardines. Uh, <laughs> these these are these are real high in omega three, but your omega sixes primarily where we're finding a lot of these sixes, which are pro-inflammatory fats, is in most of the oils we pick, we pick up: the corn oil, the canola oil, the safflower oil, the peanut oil. So the don't soy oil. cook with corn oil. Just don't use it. Don't use safflower oil. What's the best oil to use? Well, coconut oil is one of my favorites. By far the yeah. best one. And yeah. olive oil. We just talked about olive oil. You just asked me this morning. Well should we cook with olive oil? And I says, no, it's really a very, very, what we call low flash point or low burn point oil. So if you're going to cook with any type of, of oil like that, make sure, make sure, make sure it's a very low medium heat. I think it's just coconut oil. Cook with coconut oil. It's so good for you. Now let's just sum this up by saying most of us have a little bit of a struggle, honestly. All of us. You and sure. I have talked about it. So you too. 
getting the omega-3s and the omega-6s in balance, which is where we get rid of all pain. So there's something you can take. You can take something to make this work. And that magic component for us right now is fish oil. Fish oil. Yeah. So let's High talk omega about 3. that real quickly. High omega-3. A lot, of, a lot of people will look at a fish oil or omega-3 and they will say, boy, I'm, I'm taking a thousand milligrams of omega-3, but they really don't understand that you have to look at the small numbers, the amount of EPA and DHA that's in it. The EPA is the part of the omega-3 that's good for your circulation, DHA is good for brain function. So you have to take high amounts of that to balance out the omega-6s, which are the pro-inflammatory. So what, let's, what's a high amount? Well. I tell my customers to do at least a couple thousand milligrams of EPA and DHA. That's a good place to start. Now, it really kind of depends on how much high omega-6 food you're taking in. Because you But can, most of us are taking in a lot, lot more. high sixes. Well, what most of the doctors are saying right now is at least three or four thousand milligrams of omega-3 every day. Which is a perfect place, I think, for you to start. Yeah. So if you look at three to four thousand milligrams of fish oil EPA and DHA. a day, you know, read your label like we've shared with you to do. We probably better do another healthy conversation on reading the label on the vitamin and supplement bottles so you feel really confident with what to do there. Absolutely. So it's good stuff. Fish oil is good stuff. We feel great stuff. Good about it. Yep. And we're going to see you next week. Thanks for coming and visiting our house again.